American College of Cardiology Annual Scientific Sessions in Orlando, Florida. I am Akanksha Tucker, an internal medicine resident at Houston Methodist Hospital, and I have here with me Dr. Habib Samdi, who is the Director of Interventional Cardiology at Emory University. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Samdi. Thank you, Akanksha. Thank you for the invitation. Dr. Samdi, could you tell us a little bit about your transition to the United States? Absolutely. So I, I actually um, went to high school in France, um, and then I went to medical school in the United Kingdom at the University of Sheffield, um, and uh, really enjoyed the experience there. Um, I did do two years of postgraduate or residency there. Um, but what was interesting about that is that when I was a medical student, uh, many of my British colleagues uh, did their electives in the third world, uh, and I chose to come to the United States for my elective. So I did get exposure to American medicine as a medical student. And I realized that certainly for residency and fellowship training, um, I felt that the U.S. training was superb. Absolutely. So because of that, I was pretty keen to come to the United States. And I applied and, and came and matched in Connecticut. Wow. Uh, did my internal medicine residency training there, and then I did my fellowship at Yale University. Wow, that is absolutely wonderful. And since then, you've built a really successful academic career. Could you tell us a little bit about how you went about building the biomechanical and imaging core lab at Emory? What were some of the challenges that you faced, and what were some of the inspirations that um, helped you set it all up? That's great. Well, as you say, it's all about inspiration and hard work, right? And I've been inspired by many, many mentors over the years. Um, and I could name them for you here, but I think the point is is that um, it's all about mentorship and it's all about being inspired. Um, so I've had the real privilege of hanging on to the coattails of people um, to, uh, you know, to lead the way and, and help me get to where I am. But I think ultimately, fundamentally, it's asking yourself, what is it that you want to achieve in life? And what contributions do you want to make? Um, so I think at Emory and the Biomechanical Core Laboratory, we have the privilege of having this multidisciplinary approach. Um, and that's another thing I've learned over the years, is that you know, we all are so comfortable in our own specialties, whether it's medicine, cardiology, interventional cardiology, which is great. There's a lot of learning to be done. But where we really learn is when you get out of your comfort zone. So in the clinical realm, that's you know working with cardiac surgery, with pediatric surgeons, interventionalists, and other fields. In the research world, it's working really closely with basic scientists, with translational vascular biologists, uh, with engineers uh, who are teaching us so much, um, and with mathematicians. And, and I think that the, if there's one area we've been successful with is, is understanding that fundamental collaborative sort of spirit and bringing together these various groups and saying, all right, guys, let's get together and answer questions that we all have. Um, and, and let's kind of stew in this pot and brainstorm together. Um, and then the rest of it is all luck, right? You recruit fantastic people and, and uh, you know, good things happen. I think that's great advice for young physicians, finding the right mentor, finding your passion, and collaborating. Is there any other advice that you would like to give to young professionals who want to develop an academic career and follow in your footsteps? Well, that's very kind. There, there are a lot of footsteps that are greater than mine, and, and but, but I, I will say that um, you know, early in the career, it's important to basically vision, vision what you want to become, and it's very hard to do, right? Because you're a resident, you're surviving the call, and you're getting through. But it is important to kind of track back and say, okay, you know, what do I want to do? Who do I want to? follow in the footsteps of, because there are so many different paths to success. And I think, importantly, you don't have to have a pure academic career, you don't have to have a pure private practice career, there, there are all sorts of options in the middle. But with regard to an academic career in cardiology, maybe I can speak to the interventional cardiology component of that. It's a particular challenge. As, as you can imagine, right? Because interventional cardiology has really exploded as a field with all the structural work, the coronary, the CTO work, the shock work. So a lot of very, very sick patients come through us 
Um, and the reality is your clinical skills and your skills with respect to quality, with respect to education, your presentation skills, all of those occupy a ton of your time. Um, so it's a particular challenge to then create space and time to develop an investigative career. And one advice I'd get is to try to do it in the context of a center that already exists, uh, where there is a certain infrastructure, maybe some of these collaborative relationships already exist, and you can kind of jump in on a project um, and not create the wheel from the beginning. So I think to, to look to those sort of centers where uh, you know they have a track record for training academic interventional cardiologists would be one good advice, I think. Um, and then the rest of it is just being passionate, you know, burning the midnight oil. Being persistent. And absolutely. being persistent, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much. It's been absolutely wonderful chatting with you. For more videos like this, uh, log on to www.youtube.com slash fitsonthego.